Many years ago, superhumans flew amongst everyday people, each with their own unique abilities. They served and protected for the greater good. Meanwhile, normal humans Harmony, Sorav, and Kodai were chosen to train under the leadership of Master Flu. Their goal was to manually acquire the skills that the superhumans were born with. Master Flu pitied the superhumans that never wanted their abilities. He believed those who train and work to use the powers should be the ones to have them. So he concocted a plan that would transmutate all superhuman powers into mystical powered ambience. The guardian of the temple saw his plan as an act of evil, and so commanded Harmony, Sorath, and Kodai to take down their own Master Flu. Before his defeat, Sorath betrayed his team to help Master Flu complete and successfully scatter the amulets across the planet. Both Kodai and Harmony were conflicted about what they had done to their master. The thin line between good and evil gradually eroded altogether. However, with the amulet still hidden in the erasure of the superhumans, anyone could retrieve the amulet's powers. The real question is, what would one do? Hi, welcome to Doomsday, the show where you follow the internet's most evil and, well, handsome villain through his treacherous schemes. The villain being me, of course. On our dates, you'll follow me as I expedite to find the mystical, magical powered amulets. Then follow it up with, you know, conquering the world and all that jazz. Ooh, we have a comment. Yes, Gamer475, I have taken a break from the League of Legends family due to some really tragic circumstances. Meaning my dad threatened to kick me out if I don't start paying rent anytime soon, so you know, that's happening. However, I did apply to Targ Martin Wall Store, so I can keep my, you know, evil schedule fluent. It's Halloween Robin season for you. <laughs> Can I help you? Victoria Gray, right? That's what they called you in school? Before you had to drop out, take care of your mother? Get out of my house? I bet your school was terrible. Well, it wasn't exactly fun. I bet they fed you cardboard for lunch? Lunch is lunch, but cardboard's whatever you want it to be. I bet the teachers would disrespect you and treat you like a charity case. It is so perfect. Are you with, like, 
diapers or something? No, not at all. Think of me like Daddy Warbucks from Annie. I'm here to save you. I'm calling the police. I want an incredibly peaceful place. You can live there as long as you'd like. I don't know what you want people to think you are, but you're not going to use me to make yourself feel like some kind of hero. Tori, I want to do this for you. I know what you've been through. Why you're this slow? Excuse me? Look at this neighborhood. I saw a robber get robbed. So who did he lose? Huh? You said you're just like me, right? I lost my mother. Who did you lose? I'm 13. A 13-year-old needs her mother and a 14-year-old, and a 15-year-old. I have experiences too. But then I went to the Kodai Temple. Temple? A newspaper? Against all odds, Master Kodai opened up a temple for kids who ooze potential. I'm mad they used the word ooze. More than that, Victoria, you're special. This is a place for you to live, eat, sleep. We can hone in on what really makes you special. Why does it say you're the author of the article? Victoria, please. Well, I do need somewhere to stay. But I'm telling you right now, I'll fight to the death of me to make sure that this story doesn't get some kind of stupid Lifetime movie. The only Kodai temple in the world. I'm sure with good reason. Here's where we can really hone in on your skills. Okay, I have some questions. We'll answer them on the tour. Where's the rest of your things? This is all I have. Love it. The first mystical powered amulet in 10 years is said to reveal itself sometime soon. I can almost taste it. Carlos57 asks, if you don't have the competence to clean your, ooh, bad word room, then how do you expect to find the amulets? Well, I'm glad you asked, Dad. You see, only a few people really know about the amulets. There's Master Flu and Sorath. Master Flu trained a group of warriors to collect the amulets before the evil and gracious Sorath could get his hands on them. Isn't it great? A real upgrade from what you used to. I was lower class, not homeless. I'm just glad that you didn't put any newspaper on the floor and expect me to sleep there like some kind of dog. You will be trained night and day in preparation to take down any potential threats. And those are... There could be any loser or follower out there trying to follow in his footsteps. So you can never be too careful. I can collect them, abuse their power, and... <coughs> Avenge him. Anyway, it's not like the last active warrior is even strong enough to collect them himself. And no enemies means I don't have to worry about doing anything. Perfect for your talent. Shut up, Dad! The amulets. It's time. Fire! Fire! No, Dad, it's the amulet alarm! Did you lock the door? The mystical power amulet is active. And they are necklaces? Each amulet specializes in its own unique ability. One could allow you to see through things. One could allow you to turn invisible or whatever your heart desires. So, like, superpowers. Yeah, you can say that. What happens when I collect all the amulets? All? There are dozens upon dozens, Victoria. It's gonna take a while before they even reveal themselves. Well, I mean, how hard could a little collecting be? Well, no time to waste. Here's the tracker. It's designed to take you straight to the amulet. Think carefully, Victoria. Each amulet has a mind of its own. It won't allow itself to be captured easily. Good luck, Victoria. Wait! Can't run out there in those rags. I think I'll get something better for you. Come on, you'll be able to follow my evil updates anywhere. It's all about the networking. Should I even question why he has this? After you've taken a right, take a straight. Then you should arrive at Crown Fountain, home of the Idea Ambulance. Powers include the ability to access any part of your brain's thoughts, huh? Welcome, one and all, to the moment where I get my first and, well, the first amulet in 10 years. My tracker says it's somewhere around here, so I have to use my intellect and intuition to find it. Oh, ooh, I'll be right back. Uh, I'm a police officer, you see, and I gotta 
a warrant for this fountain's arrest, so, uh... Why is that raccoon talking to me? I'm gonna need you to step aside before I call the authorities. Um, I don't know if you're new to life, mister, but manners exist. I'm sorry, man, but I'm just obeying the duty of the state. So you're telling me the state asked you to put your hand in the fountain? Actually, they asked about the tub, so I just like to go above and beyond. Uh-huh. You wouldn't happen to be trying to arrest this, would you? You are not a cop. You are not a giraffe. Out of all the excuses you could have made up for that, that's the best you've got. I made an oath to the law to serve and deliver. And my excuse is something way better than what you could have come up with. Now, give me the necklace. Please. No, I'm liking the way this looks. It's pretty shiny. So I'm gonna keep it. Thanks for the offer, though. That's right, little girl. Life's all fun and games until dad tries to sell you on eBay, only to realize that your net worth is less than the money that he'd get back on his tax refunds. Don't you think it's a little rude to push a little girl like that? Joke's on you. I'm all about gender equality. Yeah, that's right. Welcome to my neighborhood now, Mr. Rogers. In case of emergency, do not hesitate tossing me at any potential threats. That was completely unfair! You'll know unfair when you hit puberty at 24! Hey, Mommy, look, a giraffe! I'm not a giraffe! I, I actually did it. I mean, not that I'm surprised or anything, but wow, this feels great. It's like I wasn't even beaten up at recess by those fifth graders. I can't keep beating myself up over that. I was only a sophomore in college. But yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about myself, you know? Pretty proud of myself, the work I did today. No, no, Mr. Buster 29, no, what are you talking about? No, are you dumb? Are you stupid? No, it wasn't as easy as just picking up an amulet from the ground, okay? No, 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 there's a new challenger out there, all right? And I beat her up with the flick of my finger. Yeah, that's right, so you better watch out. Uh-huh, this is only yet a single slab of the chicken fried rice I ordered last week. That means Papa's about to get a lot more. First object collected, many more where that came from. Good job, Victoria. You're gonna have the finest chef cook you up a meal. Ooh, I'm gonna put a flat screen TV in your room. No, I'm gonna give you all my suits. But how would that benefit her? Victoria, I'm gonna give you all my suits. I know I should've rehearsed earlier. So, funny story. Like the one about the cat being stuck in the tree? I find that kinda cute. <laughs> Is that too dark? No, it's about the amulets. The amulet? Where is the little guy? See, that's the thing. I lost it. You lost it? The tracker was, it, it wasn't working? No, it got me to it. Then, uh, then, then, then what happened? Some guy named Bowser showed up, and long story short, we fought over it, and I lost. You lost? Yeah. Wait, 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 villain? No one else know about the ambulance. Who, who, who was he? I don't know, some guy named Bowser. I don't understand. You're strong, you're smart, you're fast. I messed up, okay? <sighs> I really can't take her seriously in that draft suit. Why the heck 
do I have to run a lap around the entire city on my first day? It will build up your endurance and discipline. This is torture. At least you're out of the giraffe suit. Yeah, we have to have a discussion later on expanding my wardrobe. I just need to do 150 sit-ups and jumping jacks. What? You ran this much in a day when you were in the slums. That's because I had to. I was running away from robbers and strangers 24-7. We just need to do 100 more. Simple enough. Really? Yeah, I mean, it's just running around these cones, right? I did this in elementary school. Piece of cake. Actually, you're supposed to get to the other side of the gym without touching the floor. Can today just be a short day? Like, we can wrap it up about now? Well, I guess we can, since we don't have the mystical power object to train with. So you're disappointed in me? No, 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 no I'm not disappointed, no. But you expected me to get the amulet, right? I don't expect anything. Exactly. Is this what marriage feels like? Can I help you? What? No, 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 I just, I, I, I just got it. What do you want? Nothing. I just wanted to see how you're doing. I'm fine. Oh, nope, nope. Let me guess. Western fan fiction. It's a journal. Oh, like one of those newspaper type things, huh? Listen, uh, Victoria, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. No, you're not. I am. No, I get it. I'm not what you expected and you're let down. I feel the same way about this place. I dropped out of school. I have no friends or hobbies. The only thing I lived for was taking care of my mother. But she's gone now. Next thing I know, some man's busting in my house saying I have it in me. What is it anyways? It means you're special. I don't know what I did to get that. I'm just gonna get myself and head out of here. Heading back to what? Excuse me? Victoria, you belong here. You serve a much greater purpose than your experiences lead you to believe. The world needs you. You've got this one. Victoria. Please. This new amulet is called the Inviso Amulet. It allows this user to turn invisible. Wow, that's actually kind of cool. You got this, Vic. That's not my name. And don't call me Vic. I'm not no middle-aged, greasy car mechanic. Come on, you dumb webcam. Why won't you work? Everybody wants to see my accomplishment. No competition site. Competition. Short for competition. An evil genius and a trendsetter. Soon everybody will be talking just like me. I need this moment. If I were an amulet with the ability to turn invisible, where would I be? Dang it, anywhere I want. The ultimate upper hand.
Oopsie. So how'd it go last night? I lost it. That's all right. We'll get them next time. You don't care? I looked up motivational quotes. They say failure is more valuable than winning. So if anything, we should make it a point to fail more. I think I'm fine. Thanks, Master Kodai. We should probably get back to training, huh? Hey guys, so quick update on the Invisal Amulet. So I won it in this kerfuffle, but the little good girl tried to, you know, beat me up in an attempt to get it back from me. I mean, not like, like a little little girl, she was like super buff and had like a bodyguard with her, so like I couldn't even fight back if I wanted to. Not that I would beat up a little girl, I mean that wouldn't be fair. I mean, look at these guns, welcome to the gun show. But that doesn't matter. All that does matter is that I have both the amulets. Are your things packed? So what if my dad's trying to kick me out? Like I said, I have both the objects, and I'm not about to be treated like one. <laughs>